What does it mean to be black in Canada if you have strong American roots? That's one of the issues journalist Morgan Campbell tackles in his debut memoir, My Fighting Family. I say tackles because <laughs> you, young Morgan, as a teenager, really wanted to be in the NFL. Really, yeah. really wanted to be in the NFL. Yeah, that was career plan A. Uh, and then career plan B was the CFL, since we're here okay, in Hamilton. Yeah. You know, I grew up an Argos fan, but we can get oh, along. Okay, and, and you're still welcomed here. You're still welcomed here. You, you've got this great photo in in, in the book about um, like you as a track athlete because there was there was so much. I love this that you you said that this photo. And if we could bring up that photo, full speed ahead there. Yes. <laughs> look how how confident you look. Yeah, and the thing about that photo. So that photo was not in the book, but there is a chapter. Uh, in the book that kind of starts and ends with the race at which this photo uh, was taken. And there's so many people, too, that, like, in real life, I played a lot more football than I did run track. But okay. there's so many people that, because of that photo, think of me as a track and field person, which I really do love track and field. But, in like, in high school, I was much more of a football player than a track person. So back to your original point. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, there's, there are chapters in this book, too, that are devoted to... Football, like my love of football, but also my family's love of football uh, because my parents are from Chicago and there's a whole chapter about uh, the 1985 Bears. That was the year that the Bears were really dominant and how they were sort of uh, our family's gravitational center for a year. So we would come together around these bear ga Bears games, but like in real life, my parents' marriage is also falling apart that year, but football yeah. is the thing that kind of holds us together for a while. Yeah. And, and there's so many fighting elements in this. So you're fighting, you, you at one point fought for a scholarship, but you couldn't get it because you were Canadian. Sort of, sort of, yeah. sort of, sort of. It, it, it's in the real world of football. Uh, yeah, like I wanted to, I wanted a, a football scholarship to a big time school. Yeah. But here I am from Canada and like, not very big, I was fast, but not very big. So like the big schools weren't going to give me a scholarship. But, but what you're talking about was like, uh, not a football scholarship, but the financial aid. Financial, yeah, yeah. And this is part of th what this book pivots on, is this idea uh, of citizenship. Now here I was, the son of two Americans, born and raised in Canada, um, and didn't know how, at that point in my life, how to access U.S. citizenship as my birthright. Mm -hmm. Right, and I wound up going to the States anyway. And taking There's some of your family, your dad's family that's there my in Chicago. He's the little guy, it's my, uh, my grandfather, Prentice Campbell Sr. He's in the front with the corn cob pipe and the fedora. But yes, and so it becomes this process of learning how to access American citizenship as a birthright, as opposed to being so wrapped up in my Canadian identity that I can't uh, find a way to straddle the border. Right, right, and all the different issues that side of the border, but this side of the border as well. You, you, uh, there's a great story in there about your mom facing racism, uh, and she just punches a guy. Oh yeah, so um, there, there's your mom there. That's yeah, my mom and my dad around the, that time on, on the street in downtown Chicago. That's probably about 1963 or 64. Uh, yeah, so my mom, she grew up in Chicago. Both my parents did, but my my dad grew up. Uh, in a black neighborhood. My mom's family was the only black family in a white neighborhood. And so, you know, they didn't interact much with the neighbors because the neighbors weren't happy to have these black people living amongst them. But one of these things that happened was my mom was walking back to school after lunch one day and these boys, older boys than she was, she was about 11 or 12, started following her and just hurling these racial slurs just to see if they could provoke a reaction. Well, they got a reaction because what happened was she stopped, she turned, she punched the biggest one in the face <laughs> and knocked him out. And uh, after that, those boys stopped bothering her. Yeah, yeah they yeah. never said another word to her the rest of the school year. Yeah, you talked about your dad being a big influence too and showing you what segregation is. Yeah, and so there's a chapter in the book that revolves around this trip to Chicago that I took with my dad uh, when I was 15. You know, and I really appreciated the fact that he did this to me, did this for me because I would you know visit Chicago with sometimes with my dad and visit his relatives, sometimes with my mom and visit her relatives. My sisters and I would do this, but this was just a one on one trip. There's a lot of father and son time, and uh, instead of just telling us about the difference between Canada and the U.S., about the difference between Toronto and Chicago, you know, my dad would show me. He would take me to these neighborhoods. Like we did this long drive down State Street in Chicago back when. Uh, two of the biggest housing projects probably in the entire country were still standing. They've been torn down there, but they were side by side. So this is 20 straight blocks. That's about four 
kilometers okay. straight of high-rise public housing. And the thing is, Torontonians, Canadians cannot picture yeah. public housing at that scale. And that's why my dad wanted me to see it up close yeah. because there is, as much as we might complain about Canada, and listen, Canada is far from perfect, but there are some fundamental differences in the way uh, each of these two cities are built, yeah. uh, especially as it comes to race and social class. Right. So much to go over in this book. I wish we had half an hour. <laughs> we do not. They're telling me we've run out of time, but get Morgan Campbell's My Fighting Family. Terrific read. Thank you for sharing Thank your story you for with us. Me.